Hello there, Facebookers and YouTubers. This is your boy, Larry Dan Carter Jr., a.k.a. Nostax, a little Nasus, Lucky Lou, uh, representative and CEO and founder of Tarzan Music NT, LLC of Indianapolis. And uh, I was going to do a real quick video on the 30-day cycle of withheld progression, give you a brief explanation. The 30-day cycle is basically us being enslaved out or not being paid enough for the amount of output that we're putting out and we're not getting enough back in no one's monitoring that making sure we're getting enough it's up to us right well who's going to keep up with that you know what i'm saying and then we've been dealing with all of this anguish and stress on this treadmill for all these years and centuries since the dawn of slavery or whatever nobody's been monitoring monitoring excuse me our you know intakes and outputs and making sure that we're not overworked or overworking ourselves although they claim that they are you know what i'm saying the situation is there's no system in place that reminds us you know okay you've done such and such amount of output you need to put this and that exactly back in your system like a v8 juice fruits and vegetables or whatever you know and we don't we don't retain a lot of information beyond our schooling, you know what I'm saying? We do, but we don't, you know, it, it's a, it takes a while for people to, you know, pick up a book sometimes after they get out of school, you know. They may not pick up a book for years and then they finally notice it and then they pick up a book and then they realize, holy snap, you know what I'm saying? That was like food, food for thought, literally, you know what I'm saying? So the 30-day cycle, you know what I mean, not only consists of that, you know what I'm saying? It consists of, you know what I'm saying? Basically, every 30 days, we get smacked with charges and we're getting slaved out and we're still not getting paid enough. If you're working a regular nine to five, those are the ones who fall through the cracks. You know what I'm saying? And no one's taking care of us in slavery. You know what I'm saying? Our genetics, talking about descendants of slavery and the genocide, you know what I'm saying? Bef you know, from the early settlers and, oppress and oppressors, you know coming and taking slaves and the slave traders, you know what I'm saying, we weren't taken care of like that. We were taken care of just enough to survive or whatever, but, you know, no one really cared about us, you know, the proper way, you know what I'm saying, and our genetics have been whooped on, you know what I'm saying, you know, now we have all these different types of, you know, conditions that ail us, you know what I'm saying, that are somewhat genetic now or are genetic or hereditary now. You know, because of the conditions and the treatments that we, our ancestors, had to endure for the centuries of slavery, you know. And we received food stamps, you know what I'm saying, but the grand picture, you know what I'm saying, overall, you know, it's just a small portion to, to a much larger niche that needs to be filled, you know, in our genetics and genomes and phenotypes, you know. So, the issue is, you know, with the 30-day cycle, you know, imagine running around the earth, and it takes you 30 days to do it, and you, bam, right where you started. Again, okay, that's your light bill, that's your rent, that's your mortgage, that's your car payment, that's your cell phone bill, or house phone bill, if you still have a modern cell phone, you know, or a house phone, pardon me. You know, you get smacked with all these charges. Now, yes, they say hard work pays off or whatever, but sometimes, you know, after your 30 days of wages, you still are struggling to make ends meet. And the cost of living is so high, you know. You know, land, you know, taxation and everything, you know, is high beyond what a lot of average nine to fivers are receiving. You have to, you have to make, you know certain times you know the rent or whatever in order to be able to qualify or be eligible for a certain home or apartment or live in a certain area you know and that can lead to a lot of issues would lead to you know a lot of misfortune and a lot of people who fall through the cracks you know that creates a you know classification system and the margins between us and the difference differences between us you know and then with the signature of slavery and racism in play all at the same time and it's never been actually checked officially it makes it sort of a negative signature to whereas crime has grown you know in ways that it would not have been if it would only have been 
you know, fair trade and natural trade routes being used without, you know, all of the organizing of things with a lot of hate and indifference, you know, and equality, inequalities and, you know, racisms and, you know, crimes against humanity and genocide of local natives and or foreign natives now, you know, foreign tribal natives like Africans or whatever brought over here on slave ships and it just created a whole potluck of horror and now we have this signature that's a negative signature to where we have crime in our inner city areas and rural areas we have organized crime we have all types of atrocities and horrible offenses that ordinarily if it had never been anything like that with all of the war and hatred and slaves taken, you know, it would have achieved a much more positive signature output and we would have more natural trading, more natural dealings with one another and we would have more unity and a lot a lot more peace within our society, not only in the Americas but in the rest of the world over possibly. And that is what I'm talking about. That right there equates to a class action lawsuit because we have never recovered from that signature. We still have crime. We still have drugs. Okay, they say times move on and there's nothing we could do about that. Well, for one, we was never properly treated from that. No lawsuit settlements were ever did it out to the families who were victims of slavery or descendants of slavery. You know, that was not a natural disaster. There was no need to take slaves in the Americas. The Americas were fine. Africa, to my knowledge, was fine, you know, to the point whereas they really didn't have much use to get rid of slaves, you know, on a human level as far as a higher power level. That's possibly a different story, but... We're not exactly talking about a higher power here. We're not talking about prosecuting a higher power. We're talking about prosecuting or persecuting, persecuting a human behavior of diabolicism and diabolical phase over all of humanity. Sort of like the prehistoric ages of the dinosaurs. Each period came to an end due to, you know, time, past, and evolution. And, you know, we achieve new layers of evolution and growth in the population. The earth opens up as we need it to be able to support earth life, global life, you know. And, you know, doing all this drilling and all this nitpicking in there or whatever, messing with everything, it kind of makes, it, it makes, it makes things a bit more, you know, out of sync you know, in the Earth's natural life cycle. You know, the Earth has a life cycle. The Earth is a living, breathing thing. Whether if we see it actually breathing from lungs or taking a whiz in the wind other than rain, you know. The thing is, we weren't here long enough to be able to decide that what we're doing with our offshore drilling or intercontinental drilling we're not sure, you know, of the effects and long-term effects because accurately, how much do we know really about what the Earth needs to continue its gravitational pull and continue its orbit in a life-sustainable orbit to whereas we'll have the most long, you know, the, the most longevity or the most longevity to Earth's life cycle. We don't want to shorten out our millenniums on the earth you know you never know how much time we might have to discover what we need to discover to better ourselves to the next frontier you know and with all this you know we're probably burning a lot of excess energy way before we're gonna make it to where we're actually possibly ordained to make it to the next frontier or what would be possibly promised land so, earth crust displacement, diabolical phase, diabolicism, you know, all of these things have a certain, you know, connection, you know, and we have to think about this. It, 
and just keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Over and out.